Welcome to Real Talk with Reginald D. I'm your host, Reginald D. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about the power in taking chances when it comes to your life. Before I start, first, I want to take this time to thank all of you that listen to my podcast. The support is amazing, and I'm so honored and humbled by it. I want you to know that I don't take this thing lightly. I realize that I'm speaking into people's lives, and I don't take that for granted. I understand there's a calling on my life, and I would do whatever I need to do to help people live a better life. So thank you again, family, and let's stay on this journey together. Let's talk about something. Let's talk about life. Life is the most precious and exciting thing you will ever have, but yet it's the most challenging and painful thing you will ever endure. Now, you're probably asking yourself the question, how can life be exciting and also painful? I'm going to tell you why. It's all about how you look at it and handle situations in your life. Life is a reality to be experienced. Life is not a problem to be solved. In life, you don't have problems. You have challenges. There's a difference. Problems have to be fixed. Challenges have to be overcome. God didn't call you a fixer. He called you an overcomer. I used to hear people say, that they are trying to solve all life's problems when you ask them how they're doing. That's way off track. First of all, life shouldn't be a problem. If your life is the problem, then you got to check your life, right? You have to check the people and things that surround you. Life is meant to be a great experience, not a problem. The only way you're going to get what you desire for your life is that you allow your experiences to give you direction. Your experience is your roadmap, not a life full of problems. I need you to remember your life is about you. You got to do the things to make your life complete. Let me ask you this question. How long are you going to live an incomplete life? How long? It gets old, right? So don't do it. The only way you're going to feel complete in your life is that you go after the things that you desire. Pursue your destiny and achieve it. You've got to go for it, man, at the end of the day. The time is now. How long are you going to wait? Now, I need you to understand this about life. Be careful of people. Check this out. This is a fact. If everybody is happy with you, then you made too many compromises in your life. And if you are happy with everybody, then you have ignored their faults. You can't let your mind go there. You have to understand the reality of life. The reality is everybody is not happy with you or happy for you. And then you are not happy with everybody either. You have to understand people when you're going for what you desire for your life. That's important. You've got to know who to drop and who to roll with. Your life is that important, and you are that important also. You can't let people throw you off from where you're trying to go in life. You have a destiny to get to. I've learned a long time ago, before I let people derail me from where I'm trying to go in life, I would do this thing by myself. It may get lonely, but it's the best for me. So you got to have that mentality when you're going after the things you desire for your life. you got to be selfish. That's the only way you're going to achieve what you desire. After all, it's the desire for your life. So do what it takes to get it. Just make sure you're making good choices with your life. I was thinking about this the other day. We as people think alike in a lot of areas. It's part of our human nature. That's the program side of us. Listen to this. Most people choose a relationship based on what that mate can do for them. I need you to understand this. In a relationship, don't look for what a person can do for you. Look at what they will sacrifice for you. There is a difference. Now let's talk about this. If your life seems like it's not going anywhere, things are not happening for you, even though you're putting in the effort, you're putting in the work, you're making good decisions with your life, and things are still not happening for you, I've been there. I need you to understand that you are simply in the middle of the test for your life. 
The test is for you to know that it's time for you to be elevated in your life. Once you pass the test of life, then you are on your way. You just got to understand that you cannot break or quit in the middle of the test. Hold on. It's coming. You just got to make sure you are doing the right things through this process. The only thing that's being tested is your faith. How much do you believe in you and what you're trying to do? If you only look at what you desire, then the test is going to likely be too hard and you will fail it. If you look at it at your faith aspect, the faith you have in you to achieve what you desire for your life will pass the test of life every time. God said that the testing of your faith will produce perseverance. Your belief in you is the only thing that's going to pull you through this thing. Trust me on that. Just stay in the fight. You got to get through this test. It's your time. It's your time to shine. It's your time to live. It's your time. I know life gets confusing. I know situations get scary, especially when it's time for you to shift and make a change in your life. Courage doesn't mean you will never be afraid. Courage just means you won't let being afraid stop you. The power and ability that's inside of you is amazing. I need you to know that. You got this, man. You have to keep that fire lit inside of you. Your fire will build your momentum. You got to keep going after the things you desire for your life. You have to understand why you started and who are you doing it for. When you do that, then you will see how critical it is for you to achieve it. Look, at the end of the day, you are only happy when you are. Do the things to make you happy. I need you to understand that real happiness doesn't come easy. For some people, real happiness means that you have to do what others don't, do what others want, and put in the time and the grind to get what you want for your life. You have to outwork the rest if you want your life to stand out. Let me ask you this. If you had to do it all over again, what would you change about your life? Then make that change. That will make you quit making the same mistakes twice. Now, let me tell you the biggest regret most people have. They regret the chances that they didn't take. In this thing called life, you can't be afraid of taking chances. If you do that, you will never get what you're trying to get in life. You are going to get chances all the time. You got to do something with it. I need you to understand this. If you don't take chances in life, then you don't believe in you. People don't take chances because they don't believe in them. That's it. It's not the opportunity that they don't believe in. It's them. You got to believe in the power in you so you won't be afraid to take chances in life. Chances and opportunities are going to be the very thing that's going to change your life and take you to the next level. Sometimes in life, some chances and opportunities only come once. I need you to understand that. You cannot miss chances and opportunities because you're afraid. Rise up and go for it and be relentless when pursuing it. The worst thing you can do is to live your life in regret. Don't do that to yourself. Live your life to the fullest. Your life deserves that and also it's meant for that. The way you live and fulfill life is that you don't give your life to things that's not meant for. Check this out. If you have a car that uses unleaded gas and you turn around and put diesel in it, then what's going to happen to the car? It's going to break down, right? That's the same thing about your life. If you keep giving it things that's not meant for it, then your life will break down on you. You have to make wise choices with your life or you will regret it the rest of your life. I need you to understand, God doesn't make mistakes. Some people are in your past for a reason. Let them stay there. The biggest mistake people make in their lives is that they dwell in the past and go back to their past. You can't do that when you're pursuing the things that you desire for your life, man. Pursuing means moving forward, not backwards. I'm going to leave you with this. Live your life to its fullest. Take a chance on you. Believe in you. Remember, you are losing one minute at a time with your life every day. Don't waste the minutes. Do great things with it. Your life is worth it. And once you truly dedicate yourself to it, you will see that the price you pay for your happiness is worth it. Thanks for tuning in with Real Talk with Reginald D. 
If you enjoyed the show, please share with anyone you think that needs to go on this journey with us on making you a better you. See you next time.